So I just saw your video on monk fruit, erythritol, and stevia, and I'm confused as to what is your verdict on these sweeteners. So are they good for us or are they not good for us? Because you're saying that they confuse the body, but if we put them, for example, in a healthy pancake, which also has fiber and has protein, carbs, then are they beneficial or not? Okay, so this question is about monk fruit, erythritol, and artificial sweeteners. Um, I, I responded to a question um, at least a year or so ago on this, and and really have gotten it. It's gotten a lot of of attention. Um, not all of it positive, and I'm fine with that. Uh, I understand a lot of people really like their artificial sweeteners and believe very strongly that they cause no harm and they cause no weight gain. But the science is very much against that, and it really comes down to whether or not something has a sweet taste without nutrition. Because our body is has developed so that we sense a sweet taste and then we adjust insulin and other hormones thinking that some carbohydrate is coming as, along with this sweet taste. Because nothing in nature has a sweet taste but doesn't have carbohydrate. People will talk about stevia, but anybody who's actually eaten the stevia plant knows that it's not very sweet when you eat the plant. You have to refine it and extract it, and then it's sweet. So nothing in nature has a very sweet taste without much carbohydrate. So we don't understand that. So our system gets all confused by this, and the net result is that it shifts toward fat storage. And we know also that insulin release causes weight gain. That's why when diabetics are put on a very restrictive, um, tight insulin protocol, their blood sugars come down, but their weight goes up. And that's really one of the spirals that we see in diabetes, where we control your blood sugar better with insulin, you gain more weight, and as a result, your diabetes gets worse, which means we have to up your insulin dose, which causes more weight gain, and so on and so on. And this is one of the things where bariatric surgery just works fantastic because it breaks the spiral. Um, but when you eat, take something in that has a sweet taste, just a sweet taste on your taste buds going into your brain will increase your insulin release. So we know artificial sweetener consumption increases insulin release, insulin causes weight gain. And the science su supports that when we look at people who consume large amounts of, of artificial sweeteners, they tend to be heavier than people who consume a similar diet without the artificial sweeteners. So the bottom line is all of these artificial sweeteners should be avoided. But you don't have to be afraid of fruit. You can eat as much fruit as you like, and that won't cause weight gain, even though it does have carbohydrates, because our body understands these carbohydrates.